Today, I want to build a gigantic sky castle on the back of my Desert Titan right here. And honestly, I gotta say, this thing's going to be absolutely massive. As you can see, these are kind of like the bounds of where our castle is actually going to be. We're going to have little corner towers. We're going to probably have like a big building here on the front and then like a way to obviously mount onto the Desert Titan. So we need to keep some of this platform right here, you know, just clear and, and be able to actually access that. Plus the inventory as well. So uh, this is obviously something that I've wanted to do for many months now. I don't actually have a proper base over here on Crystal Isle. So this will be our base over here on Crystal Isles, just like the the uh, Titanosaur is on uh, Ragnarok that we did a couple months ago. One thing about this is you can see this thing rocks way more than the Titanosaur ever did, and I'm going to have an absolute nightmare trying to get all this together. So guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. It really does help me out. I do appreciate it. And um, yeah, we're going to build something really, really cool. Another thing I got to mention is I had to actually add a mod onto some of my servers to be able to keep these Titans alive. Otherwise, they just started after like 24 hours. And that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense if we're just playing here solo on my own servers. So yeah, we have the fixed permanent Titans mod on here and some of my other ones. And that basically stops their food from dropping in even just the slightest bit. But they can still be hurt and killed if, if I was really, really stupid with them. Another thing that I did have to do to be able to build this far out from the platform is turn this setting really, really high up. I just turned it up to 500. I did have it at 50, but I wasn't able to build those back towers over there. So I just turned it up to 500. It, it's definitely overkill. 70 probably would have worked, but um, yeah, as you can see, this thing is going to be absolutely incredible and gigantic, and I definitely got to level it out a little bit more before we start. One more thing is I'll probably get the majority of this done here today, but I want to also take some suggestions from you guys. So if you have any cool suggestions for this base, you can drop them down below. Maybe wait till the end because I might have already done some of them, but uh, yeah, let's get going with this. And the first thing I want to do is clear up all of this and maybe fill in the rest with like metal foundations to match the floor. Or maybe tech, I don't really know yet. When it comes to this building, I'll probably be like jumping around quite a lot with the footage and just showing you guys some of the main parts. As you can see, some stuff is kind of weird right here. So this side over here is slightly above the platform, whereas this side over here is for some reason slightly below the platform. I can't really fix that kind of stuff. It just really relates to the platform being weird. All right, well, that's good enough for the moment. I'm just going to fill on this side and then we'll get to work on the actual towers or something. So for the inside of the tower, I want to fill that in with uh, wood triangle foundations and and then we'll probably like bring it down a little bit and kind of cap it off with like a little point or something just because obviously it's a giant castle in the sky but it can't look super weird from underneath it's got to look at least somewhat aesthetic under here as well so we're gonna have to do some work down here too but yeah in terms of the tower height i feel like making them around eight high should be good so let me go ahead and just place down the rest of these that looks pretty decent and then we'll from here we'll obviously have like a little walkway that we can go from tower to tower and uh, then we'll have like a way of getting into like the middle building as well. Aesthetics wise, I want to kind of incorporate some metal in with the stones. So we have like a combination of those two. And then maybe just a little bit of wood, not too much, because I don't really want to throw off the actual aesthetic that we're going for. Like we have this massive tech platform right here, you know, and even without these, it still looks pretty tacky with this kind of stuff. So we definitely need to incorporate some metal in with the stone. All right. So I think maybe what I'll do is I'll work on maybe just one side. So we're going to work on this tower and this tower at the same time, and then we'll figure out the whole wall situation between them. All right. So we're running into a little issue here, which is basically I have hit the build height away from the platform and I'm not sure how to actually up that so right here I can't place anything but right here I can now I can place high walls up but that's hardly worth it when they're just gonna be walls and I can't place anything down to stand up there so I think what we need to do is maybe lower the height of the wall and um, maybe just kind of focus on trying to cap it off in like a cool way because basically what I wanted to do was I wanted to have a, an actual like a, a little ceiling thing here and I'd be able to walk between them but then from there I wanted to build up a little bit and then build a roof going kind of like above all of this so that's not really something that we could do for the moment though let me show you what I've done down here so I basically placed a bunch of ramps pointing down like that and they're intersecting each other it creates that really cool pattern right there and then in the middle we have some stone uh, ceilings and then I have these uh, metal pillars right here for the moment we'll probably end up building those up a little bit higher but for the moment I'm just gonna leave them at this height and um, yeah we're gonna obviously do this on all of the platforms or all of the towers and uh, it's gonna look really cool from down below I mean like you can see right there the metal blends in with the metal on the saddle I think it looks cool and uh, yeah we're just probably maybe gonna try and add a little bit more detail to the actual walls instead of just putting pillars up maybe I'll put some stone in the middle and then cap it off with metal up at the top uh, either way, though, I need to do something about this whole situation right here. Um, 
I might have to bring this down just slightly and then from there work and maybe making my ceiling I'm not exactly sure so one thing I actually wanted to quickly just show you is I think I figured out how I want to do my actual walls I don't want to do a big thick wall between them so we have like walls on that side walls on this side and then build it up I want to have as like a thin wall and then do something thick on the top so uh my idea is I built out triangles here and then we're gonna go ahead and uh build a square out over there let me try and get that down there we go it's very very glitchy to build on these freaking platforms man let's get them up as well so uh because triangles and squares are different lengths now if we come back we're not going to end here we're gonna end like slightly inset so let me show you uh you can see there's two snap points that's the edge and then this is where that ceiling is coming into and that's kind of what i'm looking for so what we can do right now is we can just remove these two and then uh place a bunch of ceilings along here and those are all just temporary i can move those after and uh let's see let's just place down a couple more of these walls actually let's do it over to this side so we can have it intersect slightly uh, right there perfect and then we do this nice so yeah we can basically just have a bunch of walls right there and um i don't know i think it's gonna look pretty cool let's just remove these so we'll have like a little lip on the outside but that's okay i think actually that might look kind of nice if we had some pillars there because they'd slightly intersect with uh the side of the wall maybe i don't know we'll see but um yeah that's kind of what i want to do for the sides essentially and maybe in the middle we'll build like a little kind of gateway or something i don't know maybe we could have it as like a gateway and then have it like closed off as well or something i don't know man just trying to kind of come up with these ideas as we go because sometimes you run into stupid issues like what happened up here which honestly is gonna throw off this build just a little bit more ah oh, man arc sometimes you know you just want to have the creative freedom to be able to do whatever the hell you want and then you run into little things like this i'm not entirely sure if i could fix this with any sort of commands and stuff i do have that one command that allows you to build multiple floors on platforms but that's already turned on i'm, I'm not sure if there's anything else i can do i'll look into it though and see if i can figure something out if not we'll just lower the height of the walls and maybe build down to make it look a little bit bigger and bulkier or something i don't know we'll figure it out all right so there we go we have the wall mostly done this side over here still needs a little bit more completing but uh yeah i've i've pretty much got like the whole design down and um yeah so we have like this gateway right here in the middle almost as if this would open obviously it, it won't be opening but it actually opens up the wall and you can see right through which is kind of nice if you're up here um and then we have the same on the other side of course but when it comes to the actual towers it, it's kind of weird right so i tried to by the way those pillars are probably not going to stay there permanently um i don't really like them peeking up that much so yeah I, I tried to essentially do a little roof on top of here that was my initial plan but we're really just running into so many issues with this weird build height thing now there is one thing that i could do which was it's kind of nuclear that i don't really want to do which is pretty much lower down everything <laughs> And then I'll be able to build a roof on top of these little towers, but I don't know if I'll do that at all. I, honestly, it's probably not going to look good if I do that. Um, yeah, I don't really know. We're still kind of deciding when it comes to this. I didn't really do anything else down here besides add in some railings just for some extra design. Still need to figure out what I want to do down here to make that look somewhat normal because from the ground, like it, it looks pretty cool. But, you know, obviously we're, we're going to need to do something there to make it look less flat and add actual like structure and maybe some support or something to it i do have to say that the uh the corner towers look really nice from down here they almost kind of look like jets or something like you know like i i feel like almost painting the ceilings at the bottom like orange so it almost looks like we have like massive jets like pointing down but i guess the desert titan would would kind of keep it all up i don't know whether or not i'll do that i think it would look kind of cool but at the same time it might look a little bit ridiculous we'll see but um i've actually also kind of decided on some other design choices so we're gonna make some changes we're not gonna put a building on the front we're gonna put that in the back and here's the reason why we can sink it down on the back right so i, I could basically come back here and i can remove a bunch of these ceilings and you'll see because the obviously like the back of the titan you know we've got all this space down here so i'm thinking of maybe bringing the building down by like at least three walls and then it's gonna be slightly just above the tail right here and then we can have like a whole workshop and stuff in there and then maybe i was also thinking of having some like um little kind of like cubbies kind of coming along here so we can fly our wyverns in and then they'll be like below the titan and then uh we can basically build like a ramp up to get out of there 
uh, after we hop off of them or something. I don't even know if it's going to be possible to properly land creatures on this because, like, as you can see, when I'm jumping and I'm, like, moving around on this thing, it's so glitchy. Like, it throws me below it and then it realizes, no, you're supposed to be above it. But I think my favorite part is my little chibi just doesn't understand where he's supposed to be going. Technically, he's not moving like that. It's just we're moving. So, yeah. Um, but just in general, I'm really, I'm, I'm happy with this build so far. Obviously, that part's really annoying, so we're gonna have to do something different. But, um, yeah, so I'm probably also gonna be putting some, like, minigun turrets or something here. Just to have, like, like, little defenses or something going. Maybe I'll also put around some, um, I don't know, some, like, tech turrets or something. We'll see. But, yeah, I don't know. So far, really, really happy with it. Obviously, it's a lot of work to get all this done, and... The main part is trying to place things and, you know, the Titan moves constantly. So it doesn't really make it easy, but we're getting there. We're totally getting there. I really don't want to have to do those railings on this side. That was one of the worst things to do, but I guess I'll have to do it right now because uh, we've got to finish off this side too. Oh, and yeah, also for the front, I'll probably do the same kind of wall, but we'll like end it off in the center, not put a gate. We'll probably put like two little towers or something here, like square towers or something like that. And um, maybe we can have those sink down slightly as well to have like almost like a, uh, a side view of the Titan. I don't know. We could bring them out to like here and, and kind of sink it down a little bit. That could be kind of cool. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, there's just so much to do. Also, when I'm mounted on the Titan, I'm sitting right here, which is just super crazy. Like I'm going to be just sitting in front of a massive castle. Let me actually hop on real quick and take a little look. Yeah, you can see, like, that. this looks incredible. Well, here's what we got so far, and I know those bits on the front look a little bit odd, but they'll probably look less odd as we go further along. I I hope. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, so, uh, as you can see at the back here, these towers are a little bit lower, and, um, I've been doing a lot of work back here as well. Let me just quickly show you. So, as you can see, I did that thing where I was basically talking about bringing the workshop down into the ground just a little bit. I didn't want to bring it too far because I thought that might look weird if it was intersecting with the tail a bunch. So uh, basically, I, I built it up to the point where it it's barely intersecting with it just right at the stairs. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, it, this is super glitchy. It's really hard to, <laughs> to get around there. Oftentimes, I've just been finding myself just going up and around instead. So let me do that real quick. But, um, yeah, you can see, like, here occasionally... Oh, my God. <laughs> occasionally... Are we here? Am I here? Okay. Well, yeah, you can see it. It comes through the floor just a little bit. And also, you can see that uh, I didn't get this exactly centered, but that's okay. I mean, it's very, very close to being centered, so I'm completely fine with that. But, um, yeah, just in general, I haven't really changed a huge amount of what's up here besides building the front here and then, obviously, the back as well. Um, this whole like workshoppy kind of area down here I feel like I almost want to keep the floor at like the normal height because I think it might look weird if I bring it up Because then I'm gonna have to do something weird with the wall back here I don't know There's like so many things that I need to kind of consider when I'm doing stuff like this because you know I need it to tie in with the wall somehow and that wall is set back in a weird way and that doesn't really work if if I try to p bring that down here as well I don't know. There's lots of like weird things anyway. Um So yeah, as you can see uh, yep, we, we've pretty much done a huge amount of work here. Uh, it's definitely taking a lot longer than I would want it to. Um, oh, I gotta add the pillars in here at the front. I actually already thought that I did that, but... I, oh, you know what it was? Yeah, I couldn't get the snap points right for some reason. Anyway, yeah, so I went ahead and built these, like, little, uh, observatory kind of areas at the front here. I think it kind of looks a bit goofy when you go out really far away, but I think it looks kind of nice when you consider the rest of the build. I don't know if I'm going to keep them exactly the way they, they are, but uh, right here, what I want to actually do is maybe also chuck either a uh, rocket turret or a minigun turret. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to put on these towers right here. Also, I'm missing a ramp. I've just realized that. Uh, yeah, I'm just like, there's so many little things that need to go into this as well, and oftentimes I just completely overcomplicate these little projects, and um, then they turn into something absolutely crazy, and uh, that's kind of what's happened here so far. Um, all in all, though, I don't know. I, I'm pretty happy with it so far. You know, it would have been great if we could build up higher, and it would have been great if we could, you know, do some other stuff without the platform poking through, and little things like that kind of get on my nerves just a little bit as we're building here. But you know what? There's a lot of stuff that, um, that I can't change and I can't fix, so I'm not even going to try to do that. But, uh, yeah, just... Just in general, really happy with it. I've added in some glass as well, actually, just to kind of, like, you know, open it up a little. But also, I think it looks pretty nice being able to look down onto the ground like this. So, yeah, I can't, I'm kind of digging that. I think for the workshop, um, I'll mostly build it in, like, the center here and keep all of this, like, free over here. Maybe I can 
you know put some wyverns or something down here i can pretty much bring them down the stairs if i remove more of these ceilings here so that's what i'll probably do i was gonna do the little thing where we could fly them in the back but just i don't think that would look well i don't know how i could get that to look good so i'm not even gonna try to do that um but yeah i don't know it's uh it's coming together anyway it's taken a long time but it's it's definitely coming along and um yeah it's uh a lot more to do but we we gotta continue um actually wait, did i mention it already i can't remember if i did because there's so many things i wanted to show off but uh for the front here as you can see the towers are not coming down to the same height and i don't think i can have them go down to the same height but i think that if i did do that these bits might look a little bit better you see the issue is is that i'd need to bring this down by i think um from where that railing is right there it would like the top of the railing it would need to come down by three walls to match the other one and if i did that it will intersect with the wing just a little bit so i don't know what i want to do there uh but at the back it didn't need to be down that much so it wouldn't look weird with the whole expansion thing that we did i don't know there's just so many things it's it's too much it's far too much but uh yeah it's uh it's coming together um i gotta definitely make this look normal because this looks very very odd we might do some stuff with like the um with the dynamic pillars or something maybe like have them go in or something i don't know we, we gotta do something here this looks really silly <laughs> it just looks like giant boxes on the front and i didn't really want that hmm maybe i should just build it all the way across that could be a thing I don't know we'll see all right so i'm a little bit overburdened right now but i think it looks a lot better when you kind of combine them together like this with a middle part that is not exactly the same as the rest um i'll show you the inside in just a second but yeah that's that's kind of what we're going for i feel like i should probably do something with the top it does look a little weird but um i don't know i'll, I'll figure it out i did want it to come out a bunch maybe i should have only went out by like two instead of three hmm yeah i don't know it looks more like a massive thing just sitting on the front which is not what i wanted to actually go for so i don't know i'll uh i'll try to like tie it in a little bit better soon but let me show you the inside part of it Ooh, let's turn back this way nice and land down if you land on this part it actually is pretty smooth you generally don't like glitch around but if you land on anywhere else that's where the issues start um yeah so here's the inside uh it looks pretty good i actually i just realized there's like a massive gap right there that might be okay yeah the pillars will make that kind of look a little bit more normal um anyway yeah i i think i'm gonna go with the, the kind of like conjoined version which is actually kind of nice you know it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to have like two little rooms that do the exact same thing so just having it as like a uh, a little hallway is is kind of cool so yeah um I don't know i'll have to do something with the front though it does look very very weird okay so i've done a bunch more building here and uh yeah as you can see we have like some little supports under here to almost make it look like the whole platform is being held up by the titan i've got some more back over there and the same on the other side as well i also added in a dynamic pillar going along here and also kind of made some of this ground here just stone and actually we've got something really interesting right here so we've got the stone sloped wall going that way and then on top of that uh going the other way we have the uh the greenhouse one i don't know why that just looks really cool together i like that combination of those two in almost the same wall space we have like two of them going in opposite directions anyway yeah so there's really not a whole lot else i can actually do with this front piece here to make it look like more normal i suppose but yeah i don't know maybe some suggestions or maybe it's not even much of an issue and i'm kind of just making a big deal out of nothing um honestly i think it looks good from down here i just think that when you kind of like get in front of it it just looks a little bit odd i don't know maybe just me might just be me anyway as you can see i've also put up some turrets here so on all four of the towers we have minigun turrets and then on the front right here we have the rocket turrets i'll probably never really end up using these they're just cool for some aesthetics and i should probably get some ammo into them as well so there's a rocket in the front pretty cool looking though i really like these things honestly they need more of these types of things than arc well we're not going to be getting any more of them but you know what i mean like it would have been nice to get some more of this kind of stuff uh as well as all like the primitive kind of turrets and and uh, ballistas and stuff i don't know i feel like they could have done more with all of that but that's just me anyway uh yeah so that's that's pretty much it for all of that stuff as you can see i've just filled in the rest of the ground here as well just to kind of like cap things off um 
I don't think I'm gonna be building any more of the workshop up here. I feel like it's all just gonna be down here in like the little basement kind of area. Uh, I'll probably have to do a bunch of building down here to try and set everything up. Um, and also I need to deal with this right here. As you can see, we've got a little bit of a thing here where there's like a gap and that's because I didn't want any wall sticking through the floor because they would if I, if I put a wall on top of this wall. So I don't know. I'm going to have to deal with that in some sort of way, or maybe I'll just leave it the way it is. And honestly, it's probably not even much of a big deal anyway. Uh, but yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. I have a replicator here for the moment. Um, and then what else did we do? Oh yeah. I painted all these flags as well. Uh, yeah. So this is actually, this is an interesting thing right now. Okay. So a couple years ago, I remember, uh, basically, I think it might've been in a video or in my discord or something, basically talking about the fact that it sucks that all the bosses at that point had flags, except for the Titans on extinction. And then a couple fans came together and I made a couple different ones. I honestly, I could probably go back in my Discord to try and find who actually made this. Uh, I, I don't have their name right now. I actually had to dig through an old hard drive to find the actual file to uh, to paint these again. But um, yeah, so this is a this is a custom Desert Titan flag. Uh, maybe I'll chuck it into the SinArt channel in my Discord if you were wanting to download it and do all that good stuff with it. But um, it looks pretty good. Obviously, like, resolution-wise, it doesn't look fantastic, but, uh, yeah, no, I, I think that looks really, really nice. So, it's kind of like a little custom flag for it, and also we got a couple Syntax flags going up there as well. I was honestly tempted to actually just paint all of these as Syntax flags, but I feel like we overdo that a lot. So, yeah, let's not do that here today. Um, I also actually want to get some, um, what do you, what are they called? The, the Desert Titan trophies on the walls as well. Uh, maybe some of the Artifact of Chaos. I think that's the one that uh, is represented by it on Extinction. I believe that's what it's called anyway. Um, yeah, so I want to try and get a couple of those around as well. Because, you know, this is a flying base, but it's also kind of like a Desert Titan base. So, you know, it makes a lot of sense to have a lot of like Desert Titan-y kind of stuff around as well. So uh, maybe we'll also get like a, a Dermis going, like a massive one or something actually back here could be really cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, we're getting very, very close to the point where it's being, um, you know, it's almost completely done. Uh, there's probably a lot of work I'm going to want to do in the workshop down there below. Uh, just trying to get all that to kind of, like, look a little bit better, be more functional and everything. But I think for the most part, today's video is mostly going to just be about trying to get the thing together and, and making it look good aesthetically. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely, I really love the look of it. I mean, I still think we need to do some stuff down below to make it look a little bit more normal, but I don't know. All in all, like, let's drop down to the ground because, like, this is where you would see it from. Like, that looks pretty amazing, you know? Like, I, I really like that. I think it looks really good. Um, yeah, it looks absolutely crazy. And honestly, even just flying around on it as well is, is really cool. Um, yeah. I definitely like the fact that the towers in the front are a little bit higher and then the ones in the back are a little bit lower it, it throws it off a little bit when you're up there but it just it looks good from here because otherwise they would be intersecting with the wings which i believe we might have already talked about but um yeah i don't know i'm really liking this uh let's actually hop on real quick i can probably afterwards i can just clear up a bunch of the extra ceilings that are like floating around those are just there in case i need that snap point again uh let's see let's hop onto you and uh yeah here it is look at this <laughs> it's so crazy looking there's still a little bit of flying around actually as well now it looks kind of goofy when you're flying around like don't get me wrong like this would look really amazing but at the same time like i just can't get over the fact that it's like a massive castle on the back of this creature it looks really really goofy in that sense but um i don't know man i i, I think that i did a pretty good job here uh and also another cool thing has he just stopped his animation oh it didn't look like he was like flapping his wings his wings at all uh, another cool thing about um the desert titan is and i don't think i'll be able to show it off without flying all the way over to the deep water but you can actually bring these things underwater you could fly them underwater which is pretty cool so yeah i don't know maybe uh maybe we can like bring it over to the water actually oh, you know what i kind of want to do that let me let me see uh maybe which direction over here probably we want to go for the super deep water i just want to see something all right here we go let's go for like a little dip here uh is the water not deep enough uh it might not be uh what about here uh okay there we go uh i guess we gotta get into like super deep water to actually do a proper dip let's see i just want to like flood the base a little bit <laughs> Oh, oh, that looks really cool. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me let me get up a little bit. We'll do... Wait, let's do a little bit more. Is that good? 
That look, that looks pretty good. Can I hop off? I hit E. Is it gonna allow me off? Oh, oh, oh! Okay, maybe it doesn't like that. I don't know. <laughs> this looks really strange. Okay, hang hang on. Let's uh let's hop back on if I can. There we go. Uh yeah, so the 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 Desert Titan can like fly underwater, which is super goofy, but just all in all, like we can kind of just like park this guy in the water. And just have a castle on the water now as well if I want to. Why is he crooked like that? <laughs> oh, that's making me a little bit worried that things are getting messed up somehow. I don't even know. Let's uh, let's fly all the way back over there. Um, <laughs> super strange. Even just in general, when you're like attacking with him, I'm trying to attack right now. He does not like it. I think that going into the water might have lagged him out a lot. Hang on. Uh, oh. Wait, hang on. Let me hop off. Oh, no. Oh, please don't tell me I crashed the server or something. I don't know what's happening. I'm just going to log off just in case. Uh, okay. I think we're good. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're good. Okay. I just wanted to log off just to be sure. Because otherwise, I don't know. Clearly, um, the, the game does not like the physics of taking this whole base underwater or something. I, I don't know. You, you, you kind of get a little bit confused why, you know? Surely that would be okay. No, that, uh, that very clearly is not a good idea. Let's not do that again. It almost looks like my flags aren't painted. I guess they're not loaded in properly, right? They better not be fully loaded in properly. I don't want to have to paint these things again. That's a nightmare. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, that one is there. Are you going to appear? You better appear. <laughs> oh, no. I think just having, like, a massive flying base like this is super cool, but, like... We definitely need some other tames to accompany this this fella right here because, uh, you know, we got some other flying crazy creatures that we have in Ark that definitely could keep it company. And uh, one of those definitely is the Astrocetus, the space whale from Genesis. Definitely need to get myself one of those at some point soon. Although I do believe I might need to be killing Beta Controller for that, right? I'm pretty sure that's how you get the saddle, uh, which... Is that a tech room? Yeah, no, it is a tech room. It's 100% a tech room. Because I was just thinking, because, like, technically you can get the saddles from, um, you know, from drops and stuff. So if I could just get one that way, then I could probably just avoid having to having to do anything. Where did I have my flying uh, little workshop? I don't even know where that was. Oh, crap. I think it was over here. But, yeah, definitely need to get myself an Astro Cetus. Um, obviously, you know, I've got a couple of Astro Delphus. I could probably just store a couple of them here there you are nice okay cool yeah so um <laughs> oh my god we definitely need to do just a little bit more work here with this base and uh then hopefully i'll be uh, i'll be done with this for the moment and obviously you know like i said i'll take some suggestions if anybody has anything good and uh and we'll try to incorporate in some cool ideas as well but um yeah let me uh let me actually try and sort out a dermis situation and also the artifact so i'm gonna need an otter for that okay so we've got a desert titan dermis here unfortunately they're really really small even though i've increased the size of it using the s plus wizardry right here i've also switched the base to tech so it actually matches the rest of what we have going on over here and uh, i don't know i just decided to put it all the way back here it just i don't know it made sense to like put it in the middle but I didn't want to put it all the way forward like here, but to be honest, maybe here would have made more sense. Hmm, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so we have two of the artifacts of chaos right here. Uh, one little head trophy on the wall. I was thinking of putting up more head trophies, but I can tell you right now, that one was a nightmare because as soon as you try to place it on the wall, it wants to place kind of like crooked because of the way that this thing is breathing. Because at any point as it's breathing, it can basically snap and if it snaps at a weird angle that's gonna look very very strange so i did manage to get that on right there and it's uh it's roughly straight enough i don't know you can still actually kind of see that the top half of it is sticking into the wall a little bit more than the bottom half yeah i, I don't really know how to solve that um so yeah anyway uh what else have i done uh, oh yeah you know what let me let me hop out here real quick so i added in some more support pillars here just to kind of again tie it all together and make it look more like an actual structure i guess so yeah we've got uh, some structural pillars right here we've got some more over here obviously these ones are at like different angles at the back because of the fact that you know these towers go down a little bit lower um, at the very back here, I did some of those as well, and then I also just put a massive pillar going across to the middle, did another one from the other side, 
what the hell just happened there? Uh, and then, yeah, basically they, they meet up in the middle and kind of cross over just slightly. Uh, same thing over here with all those pillars and you know what? I feel like I'm probably done. I, I definitely think that um, this is probably enough for the moment. We're going to continue to work on this. Uh, I'll take you guys' suggestions and, and I mean, like, who knows? Somebody might have a really good idea for this. So uh, definitely we'll be taking a look at the comment section for this one just to try and see if there's anything really, really worth including. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with this project. Like, obviously it would be nicer to try and get it all decorated up as well. But you know what? Like, uh, for the moment, we're going to leave it the way it is. Obviously, as well, I want to put some of these flags in the outside, too. But it's just a real big pain to actually get them out there. Um, another thing is, is that I actually wanted to be placing down some tech turrets around. I can't actually find a good spot for them because, I mean, like, we don't really have a good spot for them. I mean, I could just put some down randomly, but I was thinking of maybe getting them, like, right here. But there's not enough, like, room for the whole thing to even sit there. So I don't know what we're going to do about that. Yeah, so lots of things need to be figured out. Lots of things that need uh, some adjusting. And um, again, I'll just wait and see what you guys think about this. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm really happy with the actual build itself. It was a bit of a nightmare to put together. So uh, I definitely would appreciate it if you hit the like button on this one. Um, <laughs> like it, it, these massive projects like this are really cool. I, I think that this one... I, I really like the fact that it's an actual castle on the back, but it came together a little bit, um, a little bit like a mess in the very end, considering the whole, like, you know, scrapping the ideas halfway through because it just wouldn't work out and everything. So if, if everything worked out, it would have looked a lot better than this. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll figure out a way to actually do all those improvements in the future, but we'll see. Either way, though, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, like I said, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. Uh, if you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.